Hello everyone and welcome back to the Absolute Sabres channel. Thank you for joining us once again as always. Today we're going to be diving into a little tutorial on Xeno 3, more specifically how to add sound fonts to your Xeno 3 lightsabers. If you're familiar with the Xenopixel V2 tutorial that I've done a couple years back, it's a very, very similar process, but there have been some updates to the Xeno 3 platform, so I thought it was definitely worthwhile doing a little tutorial on this. I've had a lot of requests for this. Really, really sorry it's taken so long to uh, get around to doing this tutorial. But before we get into it today, we do have a fantastic offer for you all from NordVPN. Keep your online presence private and secure. Two year subscription up to 60% off. Use our link in the description below. I've used NordVPN now for at least two or three years. It's a fantastic tool to have on your mobile devices, PCs and laptops. Keep your connection private and secure with one of their thousands of worldwide servers in just one click of a button. And also this video would not be possible today without neosabers.com. Make sure you do go ahead and check them out. Again, I'll link into them in the description below of the video. Fantastic company, great prices on Sabres. They stock a mixture of LGT and TXQ, I believe. Massive thank you to them for sending over one of their Count Dooku Xeno 3 Sabres. Apologies to them as well, it's taken a little bit longer to get into the Xeno 3 content than I would have liked. There has been some very well documented issues with Xeno 3, but updates have now started to roll out to the point where I feel comfortable enough to start bringing some content out regarding Xeno 3. I didn't want to start putting out Xeno 3 content until I was comfortable enough uh, with the product, and to be honest with you, up until now, it's really been a little bit of a, a failure for me. However, they uh, weren't pushing out updates as quickly with Xeno 3 as they were with Xeno 2. If uh, some of you have been around since the Xeno 2 days, that's a couple of years ago now that that was released, they started pushing out updates uh, almost within a week or two of, of uh, Xeno 2 dropping. With Xeno 3 though, it seems to be much larger updates. They're trying to do everything at the same time to push one huge update so we have had some word regarding that there has been some uh, bug fixes kind of trickle down the line now um, from from nexus and dark wolf uh, so i'm now comfortable to, to bring out all these um tutorials and my Xeno 3 content because to be honest there i was a little bit disappointed with the way that Xeno 3 was it was released it almost felt a little bit kind of incomplete to me um but i can now definitely safely say that it is something I could recommend purely because the updates are now rolling in and it makes a massive improvement to the Sabre Tech, to the product. But without any further ado, let's dive into it, get you adding some sound fonts onto your Xeno 3 lightsaber. So let's go. Okay, everyone. So just to explain a little bit as to how I've got this set up, I've got on my left hand side here my Xeno 3 SD card. Now, this is a copy that I've made from it. I always recommend to do a copy, a master backup copy of any SD card that you're making, you know, amendments to because if something goes wrong, you've got a lifeline there. I've said this for going on three years now. So make sure you make a backup of your SD card. That's what I'll be using to do the demonstration. Obviously, you'll be doing this straight onto your SD card. Or if you wanted to make a copy of your copy, and do it that way first and then put it onto your SD card. It's completely up to yourself what you want to do. But uh, I'm assuming that you'll be doing this straight onto your SD card. So please make a copy as it comes from the factory first. Just uh, make another folder on your desktop. I've called mine Zero 3 SD card. Copy and paste everything from it into there and keep that on your desktop. On the right hand side, Obviously, it's the Count Dooku Saber, so we're doing the Count's Claw V2 from Kyberphonic. So, a couple of things we'll go through. If you are familiar with Zero 2, a lot of this will be very familiar to you. Um, but definitely stick around because there are some, some new files involved with Zero 3. We'll go down to Setting Folder. So, this is the old Set folder on Zero 2, it's now called Setting. And you'll notice in here a lot more audio files than on Xeno 2. A lot more audio files. We'll just open up our config. The config for Xeno 3 has been improved. Uh, everything is a lot, you know, much better kind of signposted um, in terms of what everything is. So 
the way your saber comes, don't play with anything, don't manipulate anything unless you know what you're doing. Obviously, the likes of this one, picks one in RGB, because 03 now comes with NeoPixel or RGB and Hilt. So this will be set for you from the factory out of the box. Don't touch that unless, of course, maybe you've got an adapter um, to turn it into an RGB saber. Obviously, same again as Zeno 2 main blade, uh, 132, that's for a 36 inch. I'm going to turn this to uh, 114, it's for a 32 inch. Uh, side blades, I just keep that at 132 or 0, just depending on, because I don't have side blades, but if you've got a Kylo, for example, or some sort of cross guard saber, then you can fine tune it uh, in there. Obviously your side blade delay times, you can do that as well. Maximum volume, I've turned this down to 50. So this is a much better improvement, far greater improvement now than having the two volume settings. We now have the one setting. I turn mine to 50, they're still far too loud out of the box in my opinion. 50 works very good for me on the Dooku, but this could change obviously from help to help. Brightness of your blade, flash on class control, uh, sensitivity of clash, all of this as well can be manipulated and changed on the Bluetooth app. It's available for iOS and for Android. I will link into it in the de description of the video. The main thing that we're going to focus on here though is this chunk, exactly the same as with Xeno 2. If you are, like I said, familiar with Xeno 2, this is going to be second nature to you. So what we're going to want to do, also I've got 38 sound fonts on here already. We're going to be adding another one, a 39th. So I'm just going to take this one here which correlates to number one on the SD card. I'm going to copy and paste it down here and I'm going to make it number 39 because I'm going to change that to 39. If you wanted that to be the second uh, sound font on your saber, then you'd change it to two and then change two to something else. But it has to run concurrently one through whatever the, the end number is. So we'll change that to 39. So this is your color, RGB. So 255 for red, zero and zero for blue and green. So uh, or green and blue rather. So I'll be keeping that, obviously, red. And then here we've got our other settings. So this little block here correlates to this stuff. And the last two correlates to the ignition speed and retraction speed. It goes over everything here, folks, in this little section. Make sure you read it because it is very, very well explained and it's very difficult to go wrong if you read this section here. So 255 is a colour for red, number 6, so that's going to be the default hum light effect. So number 6 here we can see is a pulse blade. So a little pulse blade, and then below that we've got B, this is the blasted light effect. So we can get light effect 1, 2, 3, so you put that in there if you want to change that. Then C is the force effect, so you can change that. So uh, 1 equals 0 and 2 equals 1. Has to be zeros and 1s, that is binary. So it's a bit confusing, but just follow this. Very, very, very easy. The next number we've got is D, lockup effect. Then you get your flash on class. You can you can manipulate all this and set the font up the way that you want to, to set it up. Very, very simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and just save that and we'll come back out of this right so obviously starting off i've made number one number 39 on the config so i'll renumber that 39 and i want the attack of the clones version so if you come into attack of the clones so the count's claw v2 from kyberphonic it already comes set up for xeno 3 which is fantastic all of kyberphonic and i believe ksith as well their sound fonts come set up for the likes of Profi, uh, CFX and Golden Harvest Verse. So, uh, Kyberphonic does Asteria. I don't know if Keenan over at KSF does Asteria. Kyberphonic does. But I know for a fact they do Xeno 3. So all we're going to do is we're just going to copy and paste the Xeno 3 folder onto our SD card. And we're going to rename that number 1. So it correlates to the blade style that we've just created on the config. You can give that a little refresh if you want to, so that one appears at the top. 
I'm going to come in here and we do have some more sound files with Xeno 3 than we do with Xeno 2. You can compare them if you want to, but uh, there are some new features on Xeno 3 that we didn't have on 2, so accent swings being one of them, the begin drag and uh, begin lock sound effects, the end drag and end lock sound effects as well, so bringing it a little bit more kind of closer towards um, kind of profi in terms of the sound effects that are triggered. We also have end melt, end lightning block, everything that you'd uh, really expect on a higher end lightsaber. One thing I have had issues with, and this is the reason why I haven't put out the review yet um, for the, the Xeno 3. So Neo Sabers were kind enough to send me over a Xeno 3 Dooku to take a look at, and I have been in contact with them over the last couple months. It was April they sent that out, but now at the end of August, start of September, and there's still some bugs to be to be fixed on Xeno 3. So the pre-on for this particular sound font is just a short sound, uh, but it is accurate to, to the movie, as is everything with Kyberphonic, for example. Um, but this doesn't trigger. And when Jesse was actually here in April, we spent hours trying to get this pre-on to, to trigger on the Xeno 3, and it was a big disappointment. So you do get pre-ons, but for some reason, with us, they're not working yet. There should be a massive update due out shortly. Uh, for the Xeno 3 and you can update that straight from the Bluetooth app on your phone So you can just connect to the to the Sabre via Bluetooth Check for updates and it will update from the phone. So no more having to download uh, files from different websites or whatnot uh, You can do it straight from your Bluetooth device. Like I said earlier on you've got your accent swing So that's this block of 16 sound files here And then if you want a track you put your tracks in with the sound font as well. So that's really the major differences between Xeno 2 and Xeno 3. And congratulations, you've just added a sound font to your Xeno 3 lightsaber. You can now, if you want to, safely eject your SD card from your device, put it back into your lightsaber and get going with that new sound font. Or you can add some more sound fonts if you want to, just using exactly the same method. It is not difficult, folks. Like I said, just make sure you've got a master copy on your PC to refer back to or to use should things start to get a little bit weird because that way you know it works and you can refer back to that and you can upload that to your SD card again to go back to factory. Not difficult at all, just make sure you're following the best practice for doing this. I always say it doesn't matter if it's Asteria, Golden Harvest, CFX, Profiverse or whatever it is, whatever soundboard you've got, if there's an SD card make a hard copy of it on your device, laptop, PC, Mac, whatever it is, always make a hard copy of it so you've got something to refer back to should things go peak tong. Now let's say you've got a character saver and you want that particular lightsaber to have uh, certain quotes playing when you wake the saber up from deep sleep and when you put it back into deep sleep. That is possible, that is possible. So for that, we're going to go into settings and we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for power on and power off. Not these ones that say power, but power on and power off particularly. So there they are there, power off and power on. And what you can do is you can go into your extras folder. Kyberphonic always does extra folders with uh, Blue Mamba doing all the quotes. Shout out Blue Mamba. And you can find a couple of quotes that you want, one for powering on the saber, one for powering it off. All you have to do, very simple, say, let's say for example it was 37 and 38, you just copy and paste them onto your SD card, and then what you do is just rename them power on and power off, exactly the same way that they're labelled down here. So all lowercase, no spaces, power on, power off. Obviously delete these first, or it'll give you a notification to replace them, just say yes. And uh, then your character lightsaber will have some of your favorite quotes to, uh, to play when you wake your saber from deep sleep or put it back into deep sleep mode. So that's something that I do with all my character sabers, whether it's the, uh, the Anakin, Attack of the Clones, the Dooku for example as well, uh, and a few others too so it's a really nice thing to be able to do the rest of it though i wouldn't touch i mean if you are a very creative person you can get creative with some of the sound files but i would not recommend it if i'm honest um but yeah that's that's really it folks uh, not a, a long tutorial very 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 short to the point 
and very, very easy, very simple. A lot easier now that Kyberphonic and K-Sith in particular do offer Xeno 3 off the bat. Uh, no having to rename sound files anymore. So I hope that's helped you. If there's any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Obviously, you know, I do endeavour to get back to every single person as fast as I possibly can. But if you follow this tutorial from A to B, you won't go wrong and you'll be enjoying brand new sound fonts on that Xeno 3 Saber, whether it's RGB or NeoPixel, everything's all compatible. Anyway, folks, that's it for this one. Please make sure to smash the like button. If you haven't already, go and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments down below. Any questions are always welcome. And until next time, as always, may the Force be with you all.